Good morning, YB Lokachan. Oh. How are you? Very good, good. this morning. Yeah, yeah. Good, good weather good. and beautiful garden. Yeah. This is the first ever Batukawa Riverbank Park. Yes. 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 What yes. gave you the inspiration for this park? To be fair, <laughs> uh, the idea actually came some years back, you know. Um, during uh, the days of uh, Dato Alfred Yap, uh, during the days of our late councillor Lawrence Stern, people were talking about waterfront. Eventually, it evolves, and uh, today we have uh, not exactly a waterfront with very high walls, but we have a waterfront that extends into the river, mm. uh, a wetland waterfront. Mm. Oh, I yeah, love that. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. So what you see here actually gets flooded. Um, when it gets flooded, all this will be covered with water. Oh, yeah. wow. You yes. can't imagine because especially when you beautify it so well. Yes. Yeah. yes. Maybe we can have a look. This level is quite high. Mm. But as we get further nearer to the river, yeah. it will be flooded most of the time uh, at the river, ah, river's okay, edge. Okay. When there's um, high tide, right? Yeah, because yeah. the tide comes uh, up twice a day. Yeah, and um, every 10 years, you know, you get a serious flooding. Oh, yes. Yeah. This park has got four stages. Okay. We've got phase one, phase two, phase three, and phase four. First one is that building ah, there. The sky window, the right? The sky window, yes. What is your yeah. vision for having a sky window in a park? When the idea was first uh, brought up to Padawan Municipal Council, yeah. I thought it was a good idea. <laughs> the architect who planned this was uh, Catherine Lau, a landscape architect who designed this uh, wetland park. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this sky window gives us that opportunity to go all the way up, look 360 degrees. Oh, so nice. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> my, the view around yeah. the car. And uh, if you look at the sky window, it faces the river on the oh, other wow. at, 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 at mm. side. You know, the, the meandering that river. angle, right? Yeah. So nice. And a temple on the left hand side. Yeah. And That's so, true. what a folk, view. Folklore has it that, you know, as we look, as we look up to heaven, the seven fairies will come down. Oh, yes. I never knew that. Right, so oh, it's such an interesting. I, I'm not thing. sure whether we're going to see the seven, seven fairies, fairies this morning. What inspires you when you build any parks here? A park is a place where we can distress, uh, um, and uh, a park is a place where we can. Uh, bring our families to bonding right, and creating like an outdoor environment. Yeah. So, and parks like this mm. is also a good buffer uh, for developments. Mm, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, as, we, as the city gets developed, yeah. as the city gets developed, more and more buildings comes up. Yeah. We, need, we need parks to provide buffers, uh, provide space yeah. Yeah, for people to go around. And, and um, yeah, have a healthy lifestyle. Yeah, it does give a different vibe to the developments around as well. Right. That it builds the whole community. Uh, in Padawan Council, we are building not just this park. Mm -hmm. There are a few parks coming up, mm -hmm. big and small. This is considered a big one. Um, the Toknan Park is slowly going to come ah, up. Okay, yeah. when do you... Uh, it's somewhere... It's, uh, uh, further down the, okay. the road. Yeah, yeah. yeah the... the uh, Padawan Municipal Council, Urban Park, we urban call it. Urban Park. Yeah, Urban Park. And uh, Batus Blue, we have got a new park coming up. Ah, up to Dua Blas, we have another new park. So we are we're, we're putting up, we are creating a few more parks. Yes, yes. and soon it will be yes. a trail of parks here in Padawan. And uh, this is supposed to depict the seven fairies. You notice there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Yeah. This is supposed to depict the seven fairies landing here. 
Yeah, so it's time to make your wish. Building something from scratch is really not easy. You know, but listening to your stories from just every finer detail that you have thought about. I must say thank you to uh, our CM, Abang Jo. Because uh, without him approving mm. it and giving the money, mm. you know, our dreams won't come true. Yes. So, we are lucky that we have uh, our CM, Abang Jo as well as Dr. Sim. Yes, I agree. They have the heart and mind and mm. soul, mm. you know, to, to create parks like this. I can really see it in their vision as well. Yeah. It's really their heart and passion for Sarawak. Oh, true. Because actually, you can even read a book here and just Correct. Press, right? That's right. That's right. This, uh, this uh, place is for. Yeah, and because you guys have created for... yeah, the cover shelter, mm -hmm. and it looks like yeah. a spiral, and it just but you still get some wind in. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's really perfect. There's another kampong on the other side, Sinabudi. Sinabudi. Kampong Sinabudi. Mm -hmm. There's quite a few kampongs around here, yeah. to be honest. See, after Rantau Panjang, as we go further up, we come to Batu Kitang Lama, Batu Kitang Jaya. And then we have got Lida Tana, Bukit Panjo, Bunga Rampai. And if we go all the way up, we can arrive at Sinyawan. Ah, the beautiful way I went yes. the night market. That's right. right. <laughs> yes. Look at this view. Yeah. Wow. That's right. And at night, it's even more beautiful. Uh, at night, when the lights are on. Yeah. Yeah. Eventually, when the lights in the sky view, sky tower is there. I bet it's going to yeah. be. Definitely a, a hit spot here. <laughs> All right. And you see the walkway extending to the river. Oh, yes. I, ha I can see yes. it there. Yes. Oh. You imagine when uh, the water is high, the whole place will be filled with water, including that walkway. Yeah. Just below the walkway. Wow. The water will be just below the walkway. Yeah. So it's yeah. a good walk. Mm. It's a good walk from the park to the old town mm. where we can go to the temple, enjoy our breakfast in the town and buy our vegetables, our bananas, yeah. the local produce and then come back and walk back to get our cars. It, it's Sarawak. Yeah. Yeah. We have diversity in culture mm. and we have uh, you know, a, a mixture of uh, customs, religion and culture. Yeah, we've got the Chinese community, we've got the Muslim community, we got the temple, we got the mosque on the other side. And uh, we get uh, churches further down the road, you know, St. Mark's yeah, Church, yeah. and churches further up as well. Mm. So this is Sarawak, and I think we're portraying it very well mm. in, in our everyday lives. As YB mentioned, this is Sarawak. I love how this park really brings unity to throughout this village where there is Chinese, there's also Malay as well. All, all the races coming together in one place. So I'm just going to continue enjoying my walk with YB and do come and check this place out because you will love it. Those who come to this park, I would like to advise the public to come to this park. Treat it like your home, you know, treasure it, protect it, keep it clean. Um, and uh, yes, enjoy the park like what Ashley say. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you. it's true. Responsible tourism, guys. Yes, yes. <laughs> right? right? Yeah, see ya. We'll enjoy our morning exercise yeah. now. <laughs> right. We're yeah. going to look for some prawns and fish. Oh, yes. And have some meatball noodles. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay.